All right, everyone, we are on day eight of the resistance band challenge. You have made it to the very last day. If you haven't seen the other seven videos, they are all listed in the description below. For this one, all you're gonna need is a loop resistance band. If you don't have one of these, there's also a link below to get one. These are one of my favorite pieces of equipment, especially when dealing with arthritis pain. And today I'm brought to you kitchen edition. So go ahead and grab your loop resistance band. And then we're gonna actually start with it right around your feet. So if you need to hang on to something, but you're putting this band right around your feet, about six to eight inches above your ankles. Take your feet apart a little bit so you have some tension on that band. Now, what we're gonna start with doing is you're just gonna step forwards, step backwards. Notice my feet and legs are staying far apart. Tension on the band the whole time. The further away your legs are from each other, the actually the harder it's going to be. Back and forth. Try to alternate which leg you're stepping with. Alternate those legs. And you should start to feel it in the backs of your legs and in your hips. Keep going. We have about 10 seconds left. Three, two, and one. Okay, now you're gonna stand just on that left side. And what you're going to do is we're just going to step out to the side very quickly once you get the hang of it. So now I want you to start to speed it up. And you're just going back and forth. Never breaking those legs too close together. Feel it pinpoint on that outside of that leg.
around your feet just like this. Okay, show me from the front. Your feet are in the band. It's kind of hard to see from the side. Okay, keep your legs up in a tabletop position. So that's what this position is called. And now what I want you to do is you're just going to open up, hold one, two, three, and then come back in. Open up, one, two, three, and then come back in. Open up. So you're just opening those feet up straight while you're keeping your legs exactly where they are, and then come up. If you want to make this more of a core exercise, bring your head up, and you're going to open up, one, two, three, bring it back in. Open up, one, two, three, bring it back in. Two more, open up, one, two, three, last one, Open it up, bring it in, and relax. Feet down to the ground. Now I want you to actually take your legs all the way out straight. Band is right where it is on your feet. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to keep your left leg right where it is. And you're going to bend up that right one and come back down. Bend up that right one and come back down. And if you want to make it a little bit more of a core exercise, bring your head up. You can support your neck, slow and controlled, and we have three more. Three, two, and last one. You should be feeling this right in the front of that hip. Last one. Now you're going to switch so that right foot stays Left leg is coming up and down. Nice, slow and controlled. Eight, seven. Push that low back into the ground. Six, five, four. Okay, now what we're going to do 
do is we're gonna roll to the other side. Keep the band right where it is, but you're just coming on to the other side. Find that position, roll your hips forward, bend those legs, and you're just coming up and down. Let's just do four to get used to it. And now you're holding it up and we're doing those small pulses. Small pulses up and down. Keep those feet together. Hips roll forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, guys, we have six all the way up, all the way down. There's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We get a few extra. Okay. Now, the last thing, what you're going to do is you're going to come up on your elbow and you're going to lift those hips up just like a side plank. Make sure your elbow's close enough to you. And you're going to lift up and hold for about 20 seconds here. We're already halfway. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so go ahead and slide that band off of your legs so that way you can get up. Now the easiest way to get up is to come on all fours. Bring one leg up just like this and use the other one to kind of press up. Okay, so now we are up and we have one more exercise left. So one more. I want you to grab this band, put it around your feet. I know we just took it off, but put it around your feet. Okay, so we're going to end with what we started with, but this is a harder version of it. So you're going to do the same thing, pulling out, Stepping back, stepping out, stepping back, keep going, stepping out, keeping that resistance nice and taut, and then back, two more times forward, and one more time. All right, you guys, you have made it through the resistance band challenge. Today was really heavy on core and hips. And so what I want to do is I want to show you a quick stretch you can do to really loosen up those hips because we did put a lot of resistance through them. Okay, so I'm going to show you on this stool, but preferably you have something that has a back on it. But what you're going to do is you're going to bring up one leg in a figure four position. So it looks like this. And I want you to try to bring this up. Ideally, you're in a chair where your leg is a little bit higher. But then you can just bend forward just ever so slightly. And come up. And then just bend forward one more time. And then you're going to switch sides. If you have a hard time getting in that figure four position, take your leg and just try to walk it up your shin as far as you can. Even if it's here, then try to bend that knee so it brings that leg up a little bit. The idea is to be able to lift your foot higher than your knee if you can. And we're just hanging out here. Then again, you can bend forward and come up, bend forward and come up until you feel that stretch. All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking with me for this eight day resistance band challenge. If you have made it through day eight, I want you to put a comment below saying you made it through day eight so other people can see that you also survived this workout and you have stuck through this series. So my name is Alyssa. I'm a doctor of physical therapy, founder of Keep the Adventure Alive, where our main mission is to show you that there are possibilities and you have options when it comes to finding arthritis relief.
You can find more information about me by clicking in the description below, or you can visit my website at keeptheadventurealive.com. I hope that you click that red subscribe button because we have lots of new series coming your way and I would not want you to miss out on them. Thank you guys so much for joining me and go enjoy the rest of your day.